life has existed on Earth for 4.54 billion years. And over time, what started with a single cell has managed to bring complex organisms that we see in the modern world. This is all thanks to evolution, a theory that was conceived by Charles Darwin in 1859. Prior to Darwin's book, The Origin of Species, mankind believed that God created every creature along with humans on earth to be in its perfect form. But we know now, thanks to fossil evidence and research, that over time species adapt to changes in their environment to ensure their survival. This is something Darwin called natural selection. We humans have gone into a unique evolutionary path compared to our ape cousins, as we're the only primates that have adapted to bipedalism. Today, we will explore our evolution from our common ancestor with apes to our current species as Homo sapiens. After the extinction of the dinosaurs about 65 million years ago, mammals began to take over as the next dominant species. This would lead to the evolution of early primates like proconsuls, who lived and thrived in the trees and cared very little about the world below. But 4.4 million years ago, a shift in the climate began to take over. The jungles of Central Africa was becoming drier and more open, there were fewer trees and now they were all spread out, making it harder to find food. But this makes our ancestors do something extraordinary that would quite literally lead to the first small steps of man. Meet Ardipithecus ramidus. It was Ardipithecus ramidus that literally took the first steps into the path to modern humans. The fossil of the now famous Ardi had found that Ardipithecus ramidus was adapted to life in the trees and was able to walk on the ground on two legs, although not as easily as we do. Fossils had shown that the feet of Ardipithecus ramidus were ape-like, allowing them to climb in the trees, but had human-like arches in their feet which allowed bipedalism. This adaptation was a result of natural selection. Bipedalism would be the next crucial step in our evolution as they began to completely abandon life in the trees and begin a new life on the ground on two legs. Natural selection has made our ancestors walk on two legs due to a lack of forests in Central Africa. This is Australopithecus afarensis, the earliest Homo ancestor. 3.85 million years ago, our ancestors have adapted to life on the ground as well as the trees. They now walk on two legs regularly while still keeping their ability to climb trees. But childbirth becomes harder as they now have a smaller pelvis, making them give birth early when their offspring were just barely developed. This is why we are one of few species who spend years caring for our offspring. Australopithecus afarensis began to show more human-like characteristics like walking upright and smaller canine teeth. This combination of life on the ground and on the trees was perfect as the environment was changing. Australopithecus afarensis is the best known human ancestor to date as paleoanthropologists were able to discover and study 300 individuals. Soon natural selection begins to change our ancestors yet again and this time this would lead to the first representative of our genus. At this point, 2.4 million years ago, our ancestors have now crossed over from ape to the first humans. Meet Homo habilis, nicknamed Handyman. He got his name for a reason. It was Homo habilis 
who was believed to be the first hominid to use stone tools, although evidence have found that tool use dates slightly before Homo habilis. These primitive tools made from pebble were useful for carving meat, building wood, and defending from predators and killing prey. Man was finally armed. Life in the trees was left for good, as they now lived in cooler grasslands and their diet was mainly vegetarian, but they still included meat in their diet. Because of this new addition in their diet, they had developed a new feeding strategy that was scavenging. They would scavenge the meat left behind by other predators, when they were done feeding of course. Homo habilis had now developed weaker jaw muscles, allowing the skull and brain to grow, making them more intelligent. The use of tools enabled them to develop imposable thumbs, as it made it easier and more efficient for them to use tools. Homo habilis was now beginning to look more human than ape, and natural selection would change them even more. They've now already developed tool use and have become smarter, and soon the early humans would begin to develop more characteristics we see in us today. With the introduction of tool use and the brains of our ancestors getting larger, man was becoming increasingly more human. 1.89 million years ago, early humans began to work for their needs. And that was the next step of our evolution and the reason why Homo erectus, sometimes called Homo egaster, was given the nickname Working Man. While human species from the past had vegetarian diets with a little meat involved, Homo erectus became the terror of the African savanna, as they made spears and more sophisticated stone tools. Even the most ferocious and fierce animals weren't safe from Homo erectus. Man had finally became a hunter. With hunting came new adaptations. Now, with less hair and new sweat glands, they can give chase to their prey without overheating. Strong buttocks muscles push them forward, as well as lower shoulders and a longer torso balance them as they run. Fossil evidence of antelopes and even elephants with stone tools around them in the same time period support this fact. And scientists believe that this could be the first time humans discovered and began using fire, although the evidence of that is quite scarce. But this can be supported as Homo erectus powerful molars retreated back into the gums. Today, we call those our wisdom teeth. This is because Homo erectus began cooking their meat as it was easier to chew and carried more calories. Their brains once again got bigger and they were more intelligent. They were the first ones to look like modern humans. If you saw Homo erectus from a distance, you would mistaken it to be just like us. Natural selection at this point has made our ancestors into predators, and only time will humans dominate the food chain. Natural selection has made humanity come a long way from a single cell in the ocean to a complex living organism. 200,000 years ago, we arrived. Us Homo sapiens have evolved from Africa. We're the most intelligent of our species. We developed vocal cords allowing us to create languages and communicate. In the next 200,000 years, we will interbreed with the Neanderthals. We will discover agriculture. We will build the first civilization of Mesopotamia. We will build the Great Pyramids of Giza. Create powerful empires like the Roman Empire. Survive the bubonic plague. Begin the Industrial Revolution. Discover vaccines. Build the Panama Canal. Create new technologies with electricity and fossil fuels to power them. Build huge cities.
build the unsinkable ship RMS Titanic, engage in two world wars, witness a single person cause mass genocide, drop the first atomic bombs, engage in a cold war, went to space and walked on the moon. As one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Mankind has come a long way from that single cell, but what does natural selection have in store for us now? Only time will tell.